M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's update the firmware on our TYT9600. Now, there is some crucial information here that says versions 2, 3, 4, 4A and 5 are different than versions 2 and 3. And the only way, I, as far as I can see, to really know which is which is to take the lid off your radio and it's written on the board in green. Uh, version 2.1 on mine and yours will be different unless you've got a very new radio it's worth checking once you've done that you need to get your radio into firmware mode firstly though you once the cables connected at the back of the radio you've got a micro USB connector there connected to your PC right click device manager and you need to see DFU, DFU mode here so at the bottom, forget port, it won't be in port, it's going to be at the bottom, universal serial. Double click that. If you haven't got STM device in DFU mode, then you will have something similar, but it won't say DFU, it might say USB. You need to right click it, update driver, then go to browse, let me pick, and then go to, I would say, go to your, uh, let's have a look now. So look how we did it last time, click out, browse, asset, then go here to local C, and look, see that where I've downloaded CPS MD9600, one of them's called USB driver, click that, click OK, and when you go next, 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 it will install that driver, and then you'll be able to start flashing. So next thing you know, you need to put it into flash mode. So turn the radio off completely. Then turn the power off to the, you know, the power supply. You basically have to disconnect all power to the radio. Like so, then hold down the P1 and the orange button. P1 and orange, hold them down and then just power the radio on with the power supply but not using the green button do not turn on the radio you just apply power and you're now in what they call firmware mode when you downloaded the firmware that you need and I recommend using this one here look uh, open so look now firmware this is where I got mine from you would have been included within that a program that loads the firmware which looks like this okay it's called the DMR Downloader, plus you would have got your firmware, which you saved somewhere. So let me just click that file, just so you can see it. So let's have a look now. Open DMR Firmware Versions. For my radio, one, two, three. So we'll click that, and I'll put the link in the description for this. Scroll down, and the one I chose, even though mine's an older radio, is the CSV model, 9600, where is it? 6.24 CSV, that's the one I chose. And it just puts this bin file here. See that bin file in your download folder. So back to this DMR downloader. So this is the simple process. Once you're in firmware mode, you've got the USB connector, you've done USB ETC, just go. Now remember, you're doing this at your risk and uh, you should have made a backup of your radio already. Click open file upgrade here. Select the bin file that you want to select, which is the 6.24, and then click Download File Upgrade, like so. And then it will all go green. It does take a few minutes, but at the end of it, uh, you would have downloaded your latest firmware. Now, different firmwares work with different models, and I learned this from the GD77 info. So if you put in, go back here, that's the firmware link that I'll put in. But if you put in here, TYT, TYT 9600, open GD77. You go to this page and then click the first one down. And there's lots of info here, lots of downloads. You've got the CPS, you've got firmware. I know it's for the open GD77, but everything you need to update your radio is, is in this. So it makes sense to use this. Now I am going to change my radio to the Open GD77. You get satellite mode, you get manual dial, you get just massive functionality. You can import more contacts, ETC. But I'm still learning, I've decided to learn the radio thoroughly before I do that. So let's have a look at our update process. 
once this is finished you literally just then you can use the green button so it'll finish you turn off on and off the radio turn the radio on and then I'll show you the latest firmware and that's your firmware done so it is a bit scary but I've made a couple of mistakes and as far as I can see it's still you know it's still you can still reflash even if you get things wrong you can still reflash now of course they always say uh, don't turn the power off when you're in the middle of flashing that's common sense so look it's saying it's ready we're gonna turn off the radio completely on the power supply turn it back on power on and then power on with the green button you can see the radio there if we turn it up, go to menu, back out, someone's talking there. If someone's talking, it doesn't want to go into the menu. I have my hotspot on. Anyway, menu, go down to utilities, down arrow, utilities, enter, down one, radio info, down one to two. And there we are, we're on 6.24, and I find that the, the CP or the programming software, whichever one you use on the radio and send to the radio, will be what is shown in the version there. So that will change, you can just change that by changing the programming software you're using, but the firmware is very important. But that, to me, that's the latest one, and my board is version 2.1, and I've made a video of taking the lid off of this radio and looking up which version I've got. So I'll provide all the links I, I can in the description. If you get a bit lost, then ask specific questions for the bits that you can't find, and I'll add them into the description. Thanks for watching my channel, 7.3. Please remember to like and subscribe.